girl Vili. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I had to take a break from the truck, so that's why y'all haven't been seeing any trucking stuff. The truck was running me raggedy, okay? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna spend the rest of the year doing what I want to do. Taking trips, spending time with family, remodeling, doing whatever it is that I want to do. I'm about to get started on redoing my office slash content room. I did not go to sleep yesterday until, well this morning, until like four or five this morning because I was in here trying to rearrange stuff, throwing away stuff, organizing stuff. There's a few things that I'm still waiting on to come in the mail. Um, mostly my Amazon stuff, of course. I bought a pullout couch. I am so excited for that because I've always wanted a pullout couch to go in here. I, I don't even know why I didn't order it before now. But what pushed me to order it now is I got family coming in for the holidays. And my office is going to serve as a guest room too. So the first thing that's up tonight on my to-do list, well actually it's the second thing because I just finished spray painting some stuff in the garage. But I'm going to paint this wall right here. As y'all can tell, it's that plain color. Y'all know when you get a new build, they put that basic coat of paint on the wall and they call it a day. With that grass wall, I don't know what possessed me to put all of them nails in the wall. So I had to go back and fill in the nail holes or whatever. I don't know if that's a required stuff. I just felt like that was the right thing to do to go ahead and fill it in. I did do that with some spackle. Let me show y'all. Yeah, I see I filled it in. It's not focusing. Okay, there it is. So now it's time for me to go ahead and sand those spots because of course I want it to be even with the current paint so that when I put the coat of black on there, it applies evenly. Why do I sound like I'm teaching a class? Y'all do not listen to me because I'm not a professional, okay? Before I do anything, I am about to lay down my plastic wrap, put down my painter's tape, all of that because I ain't trying to have paint all on the steel, all on the floor, on my good carpet. No, okay? So let me do that right now. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Um, Cause I'm not gonna cover up the whole room cause I'm only doing this one wall. I feel like I could run this on the ceiling, right? And then let it like come across a little bit and then like drop down so it can stop the splatter. That's what I'm gonna do. Getting in these corners is a little tricky. That's why I'm just gonna tear it off piece by piece. Cause I wanna make sure it stay on the um, on the edge. And I'm making sure I lay it on top of the other the other tape. professional painter <laughs> I don't know if this is how it go but it's secure enough for me yeah I feel professional I'm gonna roll that out some more now I'm about to go ahead and sand these down I didn't want to do it on the carpet because I feel like that was gonna be too much to clean up, so why not put the way until I get the plastic down? So now I'm about to go ahead and do that. go ahead and paint over the white spots and make it the same color as the wall. I got the paint right here. 
So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I need to mix it though. I went ahead and vacuumed up the dust particles so that when I started painting it could be a smooth surface. That paint done dried up. So it's time to start outlining. This is the paint that I bought. I went to like three different Walmarts. Um, they did not have the paint. I don't know why I didn't just go to Home Depot to begin with, but that's where I ended up getting this paint from. I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it in a can for now to do the outlining. First layer of the outline is done. Y'all, I had to improvise because um, the other little container, I don't know what happened to it. So, oh well, this will still get the job done. The next time I paint, I will definitely make sure I have on some safety glasses so that the paint doesn't splash in my face. I ran out of paint, y'all, so I gotta wait until tomorrow. Well, later on today. I'm literally on my way to Home Depot. Y'all, it's 5.44 in the morning. Home Depot open at six o'clock. So that's where I'm headed. <laughs> because I ran out of paint. I don't know why I even um bought that little can of paint anyway. Like I figured I was gonna need a bigger can, but yeah. I just got to Home Depot. Made it back from Home Depot. It's 6.40. So, I'm about to go ahead and do this last coat. Let that dry and then I'm taking my man to bed for sure. So, I was trying to show y'all. So, this is the first. This is how it looked with just the first coat. You can tell it need a second coat. So, because I had that little can of paint. I was trying to stretch the paint out. That's why it looked like that. But anyhow, you ain't gonna even be able to tell once I put that second coat on there anyway. I done applied the second coat of paint, let it dry, and I skipped the few. I don't know why I didn't start the video, but I already started outlining it um, to like, you know, polish up the imperfections or whatever. I done went around the bottom with the, um, the white paint. And now I'm about to go up to the top. Y'all, I do not own a ladder, so I had to use two stools and walk back and forth to get this whole entire process done. So I'm done. I'm gonna show y'all in a little bit, but I'm about to go ahead and vacuum this um, rug. And then I gotta put my other rug back down on top of this. This how it's looking so far. Cute, cute. Y'all see I done had to throw a little wig on or whatever because 
I'm about to go to this um, preview for the short film that I did like maybe a month or so ago. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm headed. I really wasn't gonna go. I wasn't feeling myself today. I was just like, eh, I'm gonna stay in the bed. But then it's like, why not? Why not go? It started at nine, but y'all know people don't ever start on time. So I'm gonna get there probably like nine, 10. It's 8.48, so I'm about to go ahead and get in the car, get moving. Hopefully they recognize me with my hair on because a lot of people be saying they don't recognize me when I got hair on, so we gonna see. Just pulled up to the Comedy Center, about to get out and go in. Um, It's kind of far and I got on heels, y'all. And it, the place is like, the place like all the way over there. We really are fast. Shout out to us. And we shot this in four days. How many hours? About 30 hours. So that was, I mean, that took 30 hours. Dedicate. My sofa finally came in. I'm excited to put this together and see how this room is going to come along. like a picture on the wall but yeah for the most part I'm happy I want a picture to go right there like above the sofa I showed y'all how my room is coming along so far it's not finished like I said before I still got stuff that I want to put up on the wall especially this black wall and then I'm thinking about, um, my sister gave me this idea. Taking those pictures off the wall over there, hanging a, um, uh, mounting a TV, taking that desk out of here and putting it downstairs in the basement and then putting like a chest type of thing over there so it can be like a storage and then I can still sit at it and do whatever I want to do up here and still keep it as an office too. So I think I'll make those changes. I got to get some decorative stuff to go up on my shelf and then whatever else come I don't know but anyway as always thank y'all for watching make sure y'all like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and I will see y'all on the next video